High school bands from across the state all marching to Gulfport for their 54th annual evaluation. Jacoby Rivers takes us there. This is the sound of countless after school and weekend practices. High school bands spent their Saturday in Gulfport competing for superior scores in categories like drum major, percussion, and color guard. So we this is a year-round process for us. So we usually begin the planning process in November and really kick in in July. Wesley Moorhead is the director of bands for the Gulfport School District. He, along with his staff, work year-round to make sure the students can show off their hard work. The kids love to perform for crowds. Uh, we we'll expect to have over 10,000 people here today throughout the day. Um, and so they love to hear the applause. They love to have um, the opportunity to perform on the stage. The, our stage this, uh, today is the football field. Moorhead says he enjoys seeing students perform because of his love for the fine arts department and how beneficial it can be to a student. I think it's one of those aspects that I think in today's society is even, even more important is because there's a cooperation and a team aspect. His one wish for the students is to understand the importance of working as a team both on and off the field. No one can be in a band by themselves. You're a soloist. And so to be able to cooperate and to work with people, to strive for a common goal, those skill sets are highly desirable. And in today's society, this is something that we um, give them an opportunity that they enjoy doing to build these lifelong um, skill sets. In Gulfport, Jacoby Rivers, WLOX News Now. So this evaluation of Gulfport High was only part of several activities happening at Milner Stadium. Following nine hours of performances and other ceremonies, the Gulfport High School Band's Battle on the Beach competition begins tonight with bands across the state coming together for that.